New Japan Pro Wrestling is reportedly bringing in Sasha Banks for Wrestle Kingdom 17. Shawn Michaels discusses William Regal. AEW's Miro is eager to return, however, no creative plans are in place. Josh Alexander says signing with AEW was on the table, but felt he should stay with Impact Wrestling. Hey there, everyone. You're watching another episode of The Latest here with myself, Denise Salcedo. And we've got lots to get into here today. And we're going to kick it off with a major story surrounding Sasha Banks possibly being at Wrestle Kingdom 17. Take a look. Sasha Banks is reportedly going to be at Wrestle Kingdom 17 on January 4th, 2023. According to a report from PW Insider, it is not clear if Banks will be wrestling or even appearing before the live crowd on the show, but New Japan Pro Wrestling is bringing her to the event. Back in October, Banks teased a potential match with IWGP Women's Champion Kyrie. She posted a match graphic to her Instagram stories that Kyrie later shared on Twitter. One month after sharing this match graphic, Kyrie became the first ever IWGP Women's Champion on November 20th. Banks hasn't wrestled since a WWE house show on May 15, 2022. Along with Naomi, she would walk out on WWE Raw the following night after a disagreement with management about the treatment of the women's tag team division. Paul Triple H Levesque was asked about Banks' WWE status during an interview with Ariel Helwani in September, in which Triple H said, time will tell. I think in a lot of ways, communication breakdowns are terrible. They're was a communication breakdown there for whatever reason. Starting back up the communication is not a difficult process, but it can be a process and you have to go through the process. But she's an unbelievably talented woman who can do just about anything she wants. It just comes down to what does she want to do now? He also went on to say, she's an unbelievable performer that I believe in with everything I have. Ahead of Saturday's NXT deadline, Shawn Michaels was on a media call in which he spoke about the recent reports surrounding William Regal. He was asked about Regal returning to WWE, given Tony Khan's comments on Wednesday. Shawn Michaels said there is nothing official to announce but that everyone loves William Regal and has nothing but respect for him. Like everyone, he said he has been reading about everything in the media. Additionally, Michaels confirms that NXT Vengeance Day will head to Charlotte, North Carolina on Saturday, February 4th, with tickets going on sale next Friday. Miro is reportedly eager to return to the ring, but AEW has no creative plans for him to do so. According to a report from Fightful Select, the 37-year-old is healthy but simply hasn't been factored into any recent AEW storylines. He hasn't wrestled since All Out 2022 on September 4th when he teamed with Sting and Darby Allin and defeated the House of Black. It was just his fourth match in AEW over the last year. Regarding his absence from the company over the past few months, it was noted that creative simply hasn't been presented for him. There were plans for him to have conversations with the company regarding future creative plans, but those meetings have yet to take place. Tony Khan was asked about Miro and Andrade El Idolo status with AEW during the post Full Gear media press conference on November 19th, in which he said, quote, you've seen people take some sabbaticals, absences, breaks from AEW for various reasons and come back and get very involved. And I think that's still, for both of those guys, something that you could see. Josh Alexander says signing with AEW was an option when he was a free agent earlier this year, but he ultimately felt that staying with Impact Wrestling was the right move for him. Alexander noted on February 14th that his contract with Impact Wrestling had expired and he was currently a free agent. He ended up returning to the promotion a few weeks later and announcing he had re-signed with the promotion. Alexander spoke to Chris Van Vliet recently and noted that signing with AEW was on the table during his free agency. He said, quote, For me, as a pro wrestler, my fulfillment of what I do is to go out there and wrestle and show what I can do. I think my benefit is bell to bell. That is where I will gain notoriety. That is where I will show my worth in the pro wrestling scene. And at the time watching AEW, it didn't look like a lot of people were getting opportunities to do that stuff. 
outside of like the top 20 people that were on the roster. You'd see people shuffle in and out. They get their runs for a few weeks and they go back to shorter matches on AEW Dark. And it was just Impact has been so good to me. In our previous episode of The Latest, we spoke in depth about William Regal after Tony Khan's media call. William Regal officially tweeted his goodbye to the Blackpool Combat Club. He tweeted, to the members of the BCC, my favorite song by my favorite band who somehow knew when I was a child to write the story that is my life. It's been a pleasure, fellas. We'll meet again. On Wednesday, during a media call, AEW and Ring of Honor head Tony Khan confirmed that he agreed not to pick up Regal's contract extension at Regal's request, therefore allowing him to return to WWE to coach his son and be with friends he had made over the last three decades. In AEW storyline, Regal is still in the hospital with Brian Danielson by his side. Khan said that as part of the agreement, Regal cannot appear on WWE TV through 2023. While Regal said he would be BCC until he dies, the future of the group is unclear. And that's a wrap for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like and also comment in the comment section below what you thought about these stories. Additionally, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online and I'll catch you on the next vid.